ado, let's go ahead and welcome Dallas Madison High School head boys basketball coach, Coach Damian Mobley, to the platform. Coach Mobley, how are you, sir? How you doing? Doing great. Hey, doing Coach great. Mobley. Doing hey, great. how you doing, Miss Christy? I'm good. I'm trying to get my set back together. <laughs> Just had a moment. Everything came down. Good to see you again. I'm all right. How about yourself, brother? I'm I am well. I was just telling the good people in the universe that uh before fall ball started, your team was the last game I saw in any basketball out at state. So that was the last basketball game I saw uh before last month. And so um that's all I had to go off of. Y'all won. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Cole, how you doing? <laughs> All right. Oh man, I'm all right. How about yourself, man? Doing, doing good. You got some other guy. Okay, I see some old trolls just starting to pop on here now. I'm gonna ask you real quickly. I think you got your TV on. Can you turn it? Can you mute it for I me? Think, uh, my wife is to to I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> we we want to make sure we hear just you. Oh, it's it's the it's not the TV, it's the feedback. I see. Ooh. And Antonio, pull that camera down on your face some more. Yeah. And get the light. You guys get some light on your face and not behind you. Woo wee. One of the other things we do with our student athletes too is media training. So we teach media prep and everything that, that comes with it. And this is part of it. I mean, this is the world we live in. You have to be able to have a virtual presence. <laughs> That's super important. So getting set up right. And it's and it really is something that some people have to be trained on. So heads up media got you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And coach, I, I was just sharing uh, before I let you get into your, this year's season outlook, I was sharing with the audience uh, what a great time I had over at your practice a couple of days ago and being able to observe you guys in action and what a great job you're doing. Uh, Man, you 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 guys are, are putting in that work, as they say. You know, it's no stranger to work over Madison High School. So, talk a little bit about the 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 expectations over there, and how you guys prepare every day to meet those expectations. Um. Okay. Again, well, I like to thank you for, for having us on. You know, and continue with the exposure of coming in and. Just showing a little background of some of the things we do over at the Great James Madison High School. And like you said, our expectations pretty much, they don't change. You know, we, we come in every day and try to work, work hard, just, you know, extremely work hard. I tell the guys every day, you know, that's, that's pretty much what even the plan feel for us. Um, I mentioned something that you probably had posted the other day and it made, it made a lot of sense and it carries over. I mean, it direct, it directly, relates and describes our, our, our program and um i think that post was said something like uh work ethic translates and so you know we just try to have the best character that we can have and it's also built not just for bad for life you know what i mean if you don't i was always taught if you don't work you don't eat so you know, we try to prepare every day um we probably do some things every day that, that a lot of programs don't find um, useful in doing every day, but you know that sort of separates us from a lot of programs and a lot of things. And um, we try to do a lot of teaching. I know, as you can see, when you came over there to um, observe and watch us, that you know we try to do a lot of teaching. And, and with this generation, I think the why is important. So you know, we we try to use the why as much as possible when we're um, practicing and just going over game plan about the basketball season. Absolutely. Absolutely. Coach, I just want to make a quick correction. I'm pretty sure I said the name of the school wrong. It is <clears throat> the great James Madison. <laughs> yeah. I am I, my apologies to all of the uh uh alumni. the alumni, especially. I've I've heard that they are very they're very, very serious. Right. So I just want to make sure I get it right. You are so right. Um thank you for for that. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, now speaking of the, the, the pandemic and all of that ending, how I got to know how you guys are really feeling as true competitors, how you feel about this co-state championship 
award that they gave everybody like uh, it, it, does it have an asterisk by you at all like do you still wish you could play that out or are you guys just gonna move on and forget about it and focus on this year do you still think about what if the pandemic didn't cut the just state tournaments short uh, well to be honest to be honest yeah it's gonna always play a play it play a little role in the back of your mind and thinking like what what could have been and you know been interesting to play that to play that game out to see you know just to to have an ending and somewhat of a closure to the season or whatever but no um just and the way the way things are going and the way the way life presents itself you just have to you just have to, uh, to keep looking you know we don't i don't really pretty much look back at that too much um i just keep looking forward and, and hope that the situation probably presents itself again and somewhat they say i guess do a 360 and end up in the same place at the same time against the same opponents and you know all right so who do we have with us <laughs> that is and one of my 21 guys um guard pretty well okay. pretty much one of my best defenders on the basketball team and um I think that's it yeah we had, we had a chance to watch antonio uh growing up as well as uh here this fall in, in a new madison uniform so to speak and he's doing well and mm -hmm. we expect him to be a, a key contributor to the the great james madison trojans for this year is that is that is that pretty much what you see in him coach is you expecting uh big things out of him Coach, you hear me? What? Antonio, can you hear me? It's sort of breaking up. Antonio, can you hear me? It's sort of breaking up. Yeah, I can hear you. What are some of your personal and team goals this year as the newcomer at the great James Madison High School? Um, Just do whatever it takes to win. You know, I like to win. I hate losing. So, you know, I just want to win night in and night out, you know, enjoy the season. Because with the corona, you know, we might not be able to play every game. So as a senior, you know, I'm going to just enjoy every moment we have this year. And, you know, the main goal is to win a state championship, you know, because last year, you know, I seen that the seniors last year couldn't repeat, you know. You know, some of my guys this year, you know, they want to try to win again. So, you know, that's the main goal. Just keep getting better and try to win another state championship. Right. Sounds good. Well, it sounds, I like that you have a plan, Antonio, for on the court. Uh, one of the things we talk about a great deal is what are your plans off of the court? Um, what kind of career goals? What are you what are you planning on studying in college? Because you have to have something when that ball stops, but you need to be preparing for it now. So what do you want to do? Um. um engineering like to me engineering kind of fun you know that's something i'm kind of interested in you know but i really i really haven't just decided or made a hard decision yet but as time goes on you know i, I make a decision about that all right can you see me antonio <laughs> yes ma'am can you see, you can see me all right hear hear me and yes, see me when i tell you I want you to focus on that now, okay? Because nothing is nothing is promised. Not even basketball seasons anymore. So I'm not saying that it's not going to happen, but I want you to start focusing on that at the same time, okay? So don't say, I didn't tell you. Nobody told you. We're telling you now. I'm telling you personally, from me to you. I'm saying I want you to start thinking about that. Engineering is an excellent field to go in anything in uh in design especially that's going to be um you know that that progresses us into the future uh excellent field so start researching in your spare time what can you do to put yourself on that path but you got to start thinking about it now it's never too soon so that's my my encouragement to you okay all right all right and, and coach Moby, talk a little bit about yes, 
your, your season schedule and some of the matchups you guys are having this year. Madison is not running from any competition, as I see. So uh, talk a little bit about why that's important to you and who you're playing again. Um, yes. Actually, yes. You, you see our schedule. We have a pretty good schedule. And what it is, it, it's pretty – it's real competitive. But, you know, what I tell the guys all the time is um, I love basketball. And I love good basketball. So, you know, I do a lot of reading. I'm out on the circuit watching a lot of guys. So so a lot of schedule, people think it's just, you know, made to prepare us so that when we get to a 3A level that we'll be, you know what I mean, prepared and say that iron, you know, iron sharp as iron. But um, most of it is because I hear about a lot of these good players and the schools that they attend. And I want to see a good basketball game, even, you know, while I'm participating in one. So, you know, a lot of our schedule with um, Kimbo have some of the top players in the state, Faith Family, who um, always have, you know, some of the top players in the state. Well, those games were just um, scheduled. And I was blessed for those coaches to, to, to be, allow us to play them. But they were scheduled because, man, I love, I love watching good basketball myself. So. And um, I know some of them players are some of the top players in the state, and they always help me with um, showing our players and giving them an example of what what's, what what the people are looking for for you to be top players. So you know that does a lot for us with the competition throughout the season. Absolutely, absolutely. And we just had a, a, a two new additions to the to the panel i'm sorry it looks like we got three new additions and uh pierre hunter Leonard miles and coach five guys thank y'all joining us pierre let's jump over to you really quick talk a little bit about some of your expectations for the season this year y'all hear me yes sir you know i i expect us to you know you know go for another state run you know put on put on five city of set Ellis. Went on for South Dallas. I heard that. Lena Miles, how about you? Make sure you unmute yourself, Lena, before you talk. There you go. Y'all can hear me? Yes, sir. Um, my expectations for this year is really to stay working hard, keep grinding how we've been the last two years, because nothing changed, nothing get easier. It's only going to get harder. Listen, I, I, I remember – being over there on, at you guys' practice just a couple of days ago and posting some footage and showing the, the, the community what you guys were doing in practice. And the first response I got from a couple of people was, man, them boys look like they on the miss. They working like they trying to get back to something. So you guys keep it up, man. You guys keep up the good work. I see we got Mr. Caden here. Caden, how you doing, man? Yes, sir. I'm good. How about you? Good, good. What are some of your personal and team goals for this year? Uh, just us getting better, um, just working hard and then being able to just have fun with the game and being able to do what we do every day consistently. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and Leonard, I'm going to throw this back over to you. What's it like playing for Coach Mo? Uh, <laughs> see, Mo, man, that's really – Coach Mo, you really – he, he, he is, is like, he only want to see the greater in you. That's, that's all it can be. Ain't no excuses. Because, I mean, any excuse he going to have a rebuttal, and he can argue with you all day. Because I'm telling you, we done did it a couple times. He can argue with you all day. You ain't going to win it. It's just He just want to see you at your best, at your greatest. So you got to work with him and get to your greatest the best way you can. He gonna he gonna provide everything you need to get there too. He gonna help you also. Absolutely, absolutely. Kaden, how about you? What's it like for you? What's it like playing for Coach Mo? Man, it's, it's really good. It's it's really like he just he really don't care like um, you know how good you think you are, or like how talented you think you are. He trying to he trying to make it better on how he just want you to get better and don't ever think that you just the best or anything. There's always improvement in there. Anywhere in your game, and it's uh, it's actually fun playing with Coach Mo because he actually has fun with the game. He knows he's doing. He he gets on the court, does it with you. So it's it's fun playing with Coach Mo. Absolutely, absolutely. 
All right, guys, I already talked to Antonio uh, about his future goals, and I'm always curious. We're always curious about um, what you all plan to do uh, beyond basketball. Um, so, uh, Pierre, let's go ahead and start with you on what is going to do you know what your major is going to be and what is it you plan to do with the rest of your life uh, after basketball? Um, I might major in communications because I want to be um, a sports analyst like, like Steve. you know, be, be on, you know, TV broadcast and talk about the game, let them know what I think in my opinion. Okay. Well, we, we should, we should talk. This is what we do. Yeah. Uh, so we can help get you on that, uh, that path and get some training and all of that. So, uh, uh, maybe you can co-host with us one day, and that's how you'll and you'll get some good practice. So Sports you, Influence Alive, hosted by Pierre Hunter. That's, yeah, uh, a nice that sounds too. great. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. And we, yeah, we, we've set up some internships before, so we'll be looking forward to communicating with you uh, later. Caden, um, what's your plan, sir? Uh, my plan is to do you do Hold on, Caden. Hold on, Katie. Okay, now it's nice and quiet. There you go. Okay, I said I want to do science because my mom she's into science and technology, and uh, really I love you know getting into the science, learning many things about that. So I think science is what I really just want to major in and see what that takes me to in life. I like that, and what I want you to do, as I told Antonio, is to start doing your research because science is such a big field that now you, what you need to do is now narrow it down to there's so many sciences. I mean, you've got political science and then you've got, you know, innovative science, science. you've got technical science, you've got all sorts of sciences. So start looking into, because what grade are you in? 12th grade. Oh, son, it's time. It, it, let's, let's go. The clock is ticking. <laughs> yes, that, those aren't easy things to tackle. So I want to encourage you to start now. I mean, it's, any spare moment you get in every day, you should be Googling, you know, what does it take for me to get, you know, this science degree or, and then what part of science you want to go into. So that's my two cents to you. We'll see how you do. Okay. We'll be watching. Yes, uh, let's see. Where did Leonard go? Leonard, you are still in the dark. Can you, can, let's find a light. There you go. Thank Leonard. you so much, sir. There you go. Team. Oh, All right, team captain. Uh, talk about what are your future plans? Um, my future plans. I want to major in technological. I want to be a tech uh, technological engineer. Basically, just engineering. I want to do mechanical engineering because my papa. He. I. I grew up watching him just work on cars like really all my life, and just like I feel like I can open up him a chop if I just keep going and follow my dreams with that. And I want to be a technical engineer because, like. There's always so many technical problems going on in people's houses that you can fix. And like people some people want that stuff done right. And I can I feel like I can do that. That's really good, actually. And and again, I'll give you the same uh, advice as I've given everybody else. Try to find a way to I I don't know whose mic that is. Try to find a way to narrow down what what specifically you want to do. And you know, advisors, all of you guys, advisors are there. They'll help you and put you on the right path. And uh, that way uh, you really are headed towards a career goal and still be fantastic basketball players. Absolutely. But you'll always have something that's going to be what supports you after the fact. OK, the ball, the, one of the things you guys got to understand, no matter how good you are, the ball is going to stop bouncing. So basically, you got to have something that you can fall back on. Okay. And and, and that's why it's important that you guys can share what you plan on studying, what you're going to do in the future, because we all got to have that backup plan. I, Michael Jordan, in my opinion, is the greatest basketball player ever. And even he had to find something else to do after basketball. So, you know, that ought to put it in perspective for all of us. Absolutely. And then let's see And did we ever get Coach Mobley back? Come there he is. I think, I, think, I think we finally got him back. We can. So I also want to, um, I, I hope you all can hear me. I know we have y'all on mute because somebody's microphone, somebody's got a lot of background stuff. So um, real quickly, before I ask Coach Mobley what his biggest challenge is as far as keeping you all safe in this season, 
are all of you following all of the guidelines and the safety guidelines for COVID? Are you all taking it very seriously so that you can have a full season this year? Yes, I know I am. Good deal. And that means you're holding all your, your, your teammates accountable sure. too, right? Yes, sir. For sure. Okay. All right. Again, y'all are going to make the difference. You're the ones. So making sure you're not hanging out with friends, going to parties, even a lot of times they're telling us not even to visit with extended family because people are going everywhere. And then when y'all come together, yeah, you may be blood, you may be family, but you just never know. So make sure y'all are being extremely careful because you all have, you have a plan in place and your goal right now is to get your season started and to finish it, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. I know I'm lecturing. I'm fussing. Can't, can't say it enough. So, Coach Mobley. Oh, Coach Mobley, where are you? There, there you is. are. There you Coach Mobley, what's your greatest challenge to make sure that your team has a full season this year in the midst of the pandemic? Right now is starting. Somebody's got their screen on. Feedback. Right. <laughs> Coach Mobley, are you there? I think yeah. we've lost, oh, I think we've lost Coach Mobley. Okay. Let's go okay. ahead and, well, okay. I just want, is that good? I think we, I, I want to commend you all uh, for being here, showing up, making time for us tonight. And yeah. we are looking forward to watching you. I know Coach came over to see you guys. Uh, we never could get Coach Five, huh? No, we um, well, darn it. Um, hopefully, I'll, well, I'll see you all during the season when the I'm game. I'm right here. Okay. Oh, Coach Five is here. We just can't see him. Hey, listen, Coach Five. Uh, Coach Coach told a story earlier about how uh he was over there at y'all's <laughs> practice, and I just want I believe him, but I just wanted to hear it from the horse's mouth. I just put it in the about chat, who you who you. I just put it in the chat. Don't let him go to call the fools no more, man. Jabari had a film all upside down. Everything, man. Dude, he needs your help. Don't let him go by himself no more. Oh my God, Coach Five, that's hysterical. When he told me that, I, I mean, I have been so tickled by that. And every time he tells it, I'm like, oh, it just get, it gets better and better. Absolutely. Uh, well, I miss y'all. I miss being out there, and I, I will be back. Um, I mean, I came out for two games during fall, uh, fall ball, so I've been really limiting myself. Again, y'all were the last team I saw before the pandemic hit, and so I had y'all's game to go off of for five months. <laughs> and so uh, uh, thank you for that. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Thank you all. And I need y'all to stay safe. Stay safe, guys. Good luck. Congratulations again. And in the building, live from sunny thank South God. Dallas, the back-to-back 3A state champion, Dallas Madison, the great, the great James, James Madison. Madison. <laughs> guys, appreciate y'all joining us. Y'all be blessed. Sure. Thank y'all. Good night. Uh, too. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Good Coach deal. Mobley. Thanks, Coach Mobley. We had to get you back again. <laughs>